This is my video review of the 20 ribeye for $30 tent that's going on. Uh, this is exactly what it looks like. This is February 15th, 2019. Uh, this is the box here. Now, doesn't look too bad. You need to turn it sideways. Pretty thin. And that's the size. That is a standard, everyday piece of bread. So you see the steak, once you cook it, it'll probably be about the size of one piece of bread. Now as far as thickness goes, see taken away from the curved edges from the vacuum packing, it's actually the same thickness as a standard piece of bread. Again, for size comparison, that is a standard everyday glad sandwich ziploc bag and it easily fits inside it is five minutes of defrost time it is now the same temperature of the water so i took it out you see it's still got some juice in it so it's not all dried out next i will grill it at a low temperature and I'll, i'm going to aim for rare because I am not used to cooking this thin of a steak to be honest with you. That's just from picking it up the steak ripped apart a little bit so let's close this thing up and grill it. Okay that is two minutes on one side at just under 275. Okay that is two minutes of cooking time on one side at 275 degrees on an electric grill. See here? there now they are cheap steaks but all right let me actually taste it okay here's the tasting piece unedible bristly part in it so let's try another piece and we'll cut right here all right so there's the piece Okay, is it worth it? Um, I'm gonna go with maybe barely. If you're not into steak and you don't want to know, you don't know what a steak actually is supposed to taste like, maybe. Um, I shot for rare and got pretty much well done in four minutes at 275 degrees. Uh, it's got a lot of gristle in it, some unedible parts. I would put it on par with a super sale, um, discounted because they gotta sell it today pan fry when dixie steak um, um for the money is it worth it not to me no not at all not not even close uh, so that is my opinion and that is that are not worth making a meal out of i'm gonna have to get real creative with a crock pot some rice and everything just to make these edible um if you bought these i'm sorry good luck if you honestly believe this is real steak, um, I highly employ you to go to Roy's Meat Market. Yes, you will spend a lot more money. To, if you just want to taste a real steak one time, go buy one single steak. Don't care how thin you cut it at Roy's Meat Market if you want to see what a steak is actually supposed to taste like. Or just pony up and go buy a regular everyday sirloin at Winn-Dixie. Even they're good. But this is like one quarter of a sirloin. I'm going to quit knocking it. That's my opinion, and my opinion alone. Is it worth the money? Not to me. Here you go, doggy. Try it out. The dog likes it. That's something.